States has canceled in-person classes until next Tuesday. Our Bree Season joins us now with what school officials say led them to that decision, Bree. Well, Bill, the superintendent tells me tonight that it was a decision certainly not taken lightly. A lot of discussion went into this move, but the district says it planned ahead and felt this week was the most strategic opportunity to make the move to virtual learning for a few days and hopefully get the COVID cases under control. Colonial Heights students will learn virtually until at least next Tuesday because students were already scheduled to be off for the MLK Day holiday on Monday. The switch from in-person learning could only happen with approval from the local health district, who agreed the number of cases in the Colonial Heights district warranted such a decision. Superintendent Schroff says they built a test run into their schedule before winter break, but they hoped they wouldn't have to use it. Though last week, some classes only had four students in attendance, forcing teachers to pull double duty teaching in person and virtually while many of them are sick as well. You're not stuck at home, you're safe at home. And I think in the next six days, I would really like to see some people, you know, quarantine and, and really help us get this under control. I have to always think, you know, my teachers and my staff, my, my bus drivers, my cafeteria workers, my maintenance workers, my custodians, my all my leadership, because it takes all of the all of us, you know, working as a team. Superintendent Shrove says he understands it's not easy for the families of his 2,800 students, but with a 40% positivity rate, they simply have to do what's in the best interest of the whole community. Meanwhile, meal distribution will be available at Colonial Heights Middle School tomorrow between 10.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. for families that need it. Those meals will cover four days.